This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone. Today we are back on our old project, uh, Horror. Uh, basically today uh, what I want to do is um, I want to create uh, custom uh, Horror events and uh, in the later episodes uh, we can randomize them, something like Phasmophobia for example. Um, but for now, let's um, just uh, create a simple horror event with the lights and I will show you how to get it done. So, first thing, I will just make a room. <coughs> Something like this. I'm just simply creating a room here where we are gonna test it. like that and let's make it like that let's make small entrance this is just for testing purposes we're gonna put the lights inside um, like that good so as you can see uh, it's everything dark in here so now we're gonna set some lights here That's one, two, and three. And these lights are gonna be uh, important to us. And also we don't need to make them as blueprint actors. They're gonna work just fine like this. Um, and how are we gonna create these events is in the level blueprint. And first thing, we need to select all of these lights and we need to remember the order, because I want to turn off first this one, then this one, then this one. So this is going to be first one, so point light 3. And if I go to my level blueprint here, I can uh, create a reference for them. Uh, make sure you select them all. Like that. And um, hmm. Okay, I guess uh, we need to do it one by one for some reason. That's weird. But okay, let's just do it one by one. So here we have a reference to all three of our lights in the level. And the point light three being the first one. So just like the every other blueprint, inside of the level blueprint, you can create custom events. So let's add the custom event and call it let the lights flick like that <clears throat> so this event is going to be called once we trigger the box the trigger box that we still don't have so let's make one uh, That's going to be our trigger box. Sorry, not the volume. We need trigger box. And we can set it to be on the entrance here. And also you can change the name of it. It's like a trigger box. Let the lights click. So we know every time what is it when we click on it. So let's, let's say the project gets big. I click here and I know what is it about. So <clears throat> we click the trigger box. And if we right click here, we can add event for the trigger box, collision, and an actor begin overlap. And very important thing is to do it once 
so we don't proc it uh, multiple times or you can set a cooldown so uh, how you would set up the cooldown is you would reset this after delay of 30 seconds like let's say 30 seconds and then it would reset and you could uh, overlap with it again but i'm not gonna do it uh, today like that <coughs> And here we are gonna call let the lights flick. But now we need to set up the custom event, right? So <clears throat> first thing we're gonna do is get inten uh, set intensity of the light component. And here we're gonna get a random float in range, and that's gonna be three thousand five hundred and five thousand. That would work uh, good, but you can test it for yourself to see. And let's just test if that works by adding. Um, so we are going to add a retriggerable delay and let's just test if this works we need to connect it here. But we have uh, other stuff to add on it, but let's see if it works. Mm, so if I go there, one light should start... Okay, that's... Oof. Uh, do we have exposure? We need to set exposure to zero in our post process. But did I type something wrong? Oh, okay. I see what's uh, wrong. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's say the minimum is two and maximum is eight. That made me blind. If I go in, as you can see, this one started blinking. And we can even randomize it more. So let's do it for every, and then we are going to randomize even more. Um, so let's do it for this as well. Let's get our light component. Oh, what is that? get light component moment like this and we go from 3 to 1 because that's how we set up the lights in the level and now just um, set this intensity we can keep this here, we're gonna need it. So, uh, we can set this to be random for better feeling, but you can also set it to be same. So you can just plug a return value into every, but this will randomize it even more. And it's gonna get, uh, it's gonna create a way better feeling. And um, this is gonna be the we need to promote to variable, and this is gonna be how fast our light flick uh, speed of light flickering. And if you would uh, plug this in every, then you could promote this to variable and call it minimum. Uh, intensity and max intensity and then you could change it from the level as you look at it um oh yeah so now we need to do this as well so let's see how that works and as you can see it's already better but let's Turn it down a little bit, and let's see how it works now. Still pretty strong light, 
I want uh, it to be dark uh, horror atmosphere, but you can uh, play with it and see what works for you the best. And as you can see, now you could add the uh, sound and to make even better feel, but let's say like this. That should be good. And um, now let's make another uh, event, but first let's add some delay. So after let's say five seconds of scaring the player, we can add custom event, call it turn off lights. Like that, and we can copy this. And just set visibility or you can even destroy the actor depends what you want to do but both works fine and that will turn off the lights make sure you connect so after five seconds it's gonna turn off the lights Or is it gonna turn off the lights? No, because we didn't call it. <laughs> That's my bad. Mm. Actually, I would rather just uh, destroy the actor. Because if we destroy the actor, this is not gonna trigger anymore. So it's good. This is like event that just jump scares you. Uh, and if you add some, uh, I mean, horror is all about music, to be honest. So if you have a, if you have a good uh, sound, you can scare player really good with this, even though it's only lights. Um, but yeah, here. Um, we're gonna check if the point light two point light one if they are wallet because right now if we do it uh without is wallet we do it this way this is gonna try to trigger this code but it's gonna get our errors because this doesn't exist anymore so we're gonna run this code uh we need to check uh, what am i doing can do it like that. So we need to check uh, from this code. We just plug is valid into everyone. So we check if they are valid. Because if they are not valid, we don't want to run this code. We don't want to spam this and make uh, tons of errors. So this should work fine. Let's see. Should destroy the actor and as you can see we are in complete dark right now and we are in complete errors as well um, oh yeah because it's gonna re-trigger the delay um, let's see We can just check if this one is valid. If it's valid, we can proceed. And um, we don't need this actually because the code uh, reads from left to right. And first we are deleting the point light tree. Okay, let's see. Now I think we should have no errors at all. Yeah. So let's test once more. I'm gonna leave it a little bit more. This should give us no errors. If I stay a little bit longer here. Yeah, that's good. No errors. 
Um, so yeah, this is how you would uh, simply create this event. It's very simple. Uh, in the next episode, I'm gonna create more events because that's what horror games are all about. And uh, we're gonna learn how to randomize them. So every 30 seconds or so, something different happens and that's gonna be really good for your game, for your horror game. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.